are gonna get better now But you're still a drunken fog I think you're gonna get better now You wish you still lived with mom Yes about that three days in a row. As always, thank you for listening to Headbangers and Hooligans, yours truly, Scum Malicious. I'm just on a fucking roll this weekend, what can I say? Actually, I haven't slept. I really haven't. I was up all night snorting lines of meth with this person that I had just met at a bar. I'm kidding. I actually found a bottle of pills that were somebody had dropped in the hallway at my apartment building. <laughs> you know, I just can't help myself sometimes. Actually, I just, you know, I didn't sleep a lot last night. I don't know why. I just don't. I wake up early. Maybe it's because I'm getting old, you know, 68. And, you know, old people, they, they wake up at like 3.30. So I'm already doing that. I wake up at 4.30. No one else is fucking awake, but I am. And I'm like, I got on YouTube and I started listening to all these different bands, and guitar covers, and I just, oh, you know, I was like, fuck, man. This is the kind of shit that I just love, you know? So this guy playing pulley songs on the guitar and this, this drummer, Ty Smith, or Kai Smith, sorry. I'm, he's got a bunch of videos on YouTube, watched him, you know, Play pulley on the drums and strung out. I was like, man, God, I love these fucking bands. You know, and then I thought, Nightfire. I know Face to Face is the band of the month, but Nightfire, the new metal band out of Germany. That's right. Just like for Heads Down, remember? Album of the year last year. Okay, I'm promoting them. Finally, a newer metal band that doesn't growl or fucking scream. They actually sing. It's a good thing. We know how to do it in fucking Germany. We do. America, you gotta pay attention. This is how you do it. And, listen. Proud German... And I'm not saying we're better than, it, than everybody. Pretty fucking close. I'm kidding. I'm really not saying we're better than it, than anybody. You should be proud of who you are or wherever you're from. Okay? There's nothing wrong with that. Just saying when it comes to music, we know what the fuck is up. I discovered this album because of Banger. I've mentioned them before. They do. They review all the heavy metal albums. And... I don't like a lot of the stuff they review because it's all growling, you know. Yeah, Cookie Monster, whatever you want to fucking say. I'm, I'm just, I can't. I have to understand what the fuck they're saying. It's important. Uh, now, I'm not saying that we got to get crazy, you know. Uh, and I'm not ripping on Kill, Kill Switch and Gage. I don't think they're a bad band. The whole, I'm just not a big metalcore fan. Is that what they are? I don't know. What are they? I know they re, they did the Dio cover. Didn't really care for it. Uh, but, you know, my last serenade as you fall away. You know, I'm not saying, doesn't I get that crazy? But at least the dude was singing. It's a, it was a step in the right direction. But we're talking about Nightfire, came out in January of this year, from Fortune to Ruin, on this Charming Man Records. Now, the band, I don't know their last names, I've been trying to look up the information, everything I find on them, it's just got their first names. So, uh, the information I have, David, lead vocalist, and plays guitar. And I hope I'm pronouncing this right. 
Freddy on drums, Christoph, guitars, and I believe he recorded the bass tracks on the album. Now, when they perform live, uh, a guy by the name of Niels plays the bass guitar. So, it's just so nice and refreshing to hear a band that's about writing fucking songs that, that stick in your head, that you want to sing, that you want to listen to over and over again. There's just not a lot of metal bands out there doing this nowadays. And you've heard me talk about that before. Okay, headbangers. You know, Power Trip, I like them. You know, thrash band out of Texas. And there's kind of a common theme with these newer bands that I like. What is that? Keep it a little simpler. You don't have to get so complicated, right? You know? And it's not just about, like I'm saying, about the growling and the vocals. You don't have to have 60,000 tempo changes and, you know, 25 minute fucking songs. Nothing wrong with that either. There's some bands out there that play longer songs. And I like, I'm just saying it's okay to simplify it and write good music. So, let's talk about this album. From beginning to end, from Fortune to Ruin, it starts out with an instrumental track. Nice little catchy tune. Uh, and when you when you first hear this, for me personally, I think of early Metallica and Judas Priest. And when I mean mean by Metallica, I'm talking like Kill 'Em All. That that's what I that's what I get. Heat. Uh, David, the lead singer. Kind of reminds me of an early James Hetfield, kind of, in parts. Uh, I noticed a few of the other commenters on YouTube were saying the same thing, uh, which isn't a bad thing. I think James Hetfield's a good singer. I always have. I just don't like some of their fucking albums that they've recorded, but that's a whole other story. Uh, but the first... After the uh, instrumental, sorry, uh, we get Hunting the Night, and that's the first song I actually heard, uh, and I heard this album on New Wave of Traditional Heavy Metal. It's a channel on YouTube. You should subscribe to it. That's It's got some great stuff on there. It really does. Uh, not all of it's good, okay, uh, but, you know, if, if you're a fan of Iron Maiden, like me, which some of you are, uh, it's it's worth your time. But Hunting the Night, I'm telling you, that track will just stick in your fucking head. Uh, the chorus, you know, Hunting the night, walking down the streets, -na 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 -na, running wild, running free. I, it's like an anthem. I mean, I, I feel like I'm back in 1985, and I'm watching fucking Headbangers Ball when I listen to this shit. These dudes are fucking bringing it back. I fucking love this band. I'm promoting the shit out of them. America, you're getting behind these guys. Okay? Fucking put away that fucking, you know... I was going to say Cannibal Corpse. I actually like Cannibal Corpse because I like those guys. You know? Whatever the fuck. I can't even pronounce the name of, of any of those death metal bands because they're so fucking long. They use giant words. Keep it simple. Okay? Keep it simple like Nightfire. Same. Uh, but after Hunting the Night, we get to the third, third track, Full Speed Ahead, mid-tempo. And a lot of this album is mid-tempo. No, not super fast, not super slow. There is tempo changes. I'll talk a, a little bit about some of the, in some of the songs. But it's mainly mid-tempo. And I noticed uh, a couple commenters, I, I like it, but it's, uh, I don't know, kind of not heavy enough. It's fucking heavy enough. All right. If you grew up in the 80s, like me, maybe... I'm just being an ageist. Is that a fucking term now? Now we've got sexist and 
misogynist and all that other shit that ends in ISD. I guess I'm an ageist. I'm just saying. Iron Maiden was heavy enough back in the day. Fucking Slayer, Metallica, all that shit. It's heavy enough. Okay. Uh, but you will never fight alone. No. Da -na -na, da -na -na. It's just, it's just catchy shit. And it's not just about treading on the guitar. They can tread. Uh, and th there's solos in here. Uh, but it's always about the song. And how many times have you heard me talk about how important this song is? Not showing off how good of a fucking musician you are. And real quick before I forget, someone mentioned, uh, I like the music, but then the, uh, the vocals just fucking threw me off. Sounds like some guy just singing karaoke. Go fuck yourself. David the Singer sounds good. Like I said, a young James Hetfield. Let's see you sound like a James Het young James Hetfield. You fucking ass maggot. I get tired of that shit. Anyway. Track four. Title track from Fortune to Ruin. They switch it up a little bit. There's an acoustic intro. Uh, and then a lead guitar comes in with some nice hammer-ons and pull-offs, just a nice little solo in there. And I get a little Iron Maiden feel to this with the, the main riff. You know, uh, just the melody part of it. It does, it reminds me of Iron Maiden, and there's nothing wrong with that. And, you know, and then another thing that someone mentioned, but the lyrics are kind of simple. So what? And I don't think they're all simple. It, like I said, they take you back to the headbangers, headbangers ball of the 1980s, the greatest fucking show that was ever created, and then it turned into dog shit. But yeah, the lyrics are like those bands from the 80s. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, we're gonna fight the fight. You know, push back, knock the wall over, the evil's coming, you know, the darkness is surrounding us. Fuck yeah. Sign me up for that every day of the fucking week. All right? It doesn't always have to be fuck this, fuck that, I'm going to fuck you up, motherfucker. We can actually have a band that writes songs about, you know, Simple stuff. And not being fucking angry. And hating everything. Uh, then song five, Mistress. The Buckster. That's his favorite track off uh, off of this album. He's a uh, Nightfire fan too. Um, you are my mistress. Moonlight child. Mistress, queen of the night. Is ready to fight. And she will come for you. Yeah, that word fight is used a lot. In these songs, and like I said, I'm I'm good with that. This one's kind of a speed metal riff throughout the song. Yeah, they switch it up a little bit. Sounds good, you know. And it it does have that early Metallica Kill 'Em All sound to it, which I love. You know, I'm a big fan of the old Metallica, not the new Metallica. The new Metallica. Blech. Anyway, all right. Track six, Lunacy. Just Another catchy chorus sticks in your head. These guys are really good with uh, writing hooks. They hook you in. Don't try to find what you can't say. Da, 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 da. You will die by lunacy. I love it. Ah. Just good shit. Then we get to track seven. Now, I love Hunting the Night. Told you that was the first song I heard off the album. Second one I heard, and it's a tie. Rise, Fall Down, track seven, track two, Hunting the Night. They're my two favorite songs. I don't know which one I love better. They're both just fucking. Uh, you just, I'm telling you, I want to get in a car. Put this fucking CD in and crank these fucking songs. 
I want people walking down the street, turn their heads around and go, what the fuck is that? Well, it ain't rap. I ain't got bass, bitch. I got treble. And you're going to fucking hear it. Okay? Rise, fall down. It's the rhythm guitar in it. I'll tell you, when I first heard it, Judas Priest. How fucking cool is that? That's what I think of. You know, it's got that palm mute. You know, kind of sucks you in. Uh, then they put the little, you know, guitar fill in there. Rise, na na na, fall, na na na, down. You will never understand. That it's just oh, so fucking catchy, and the guitar solo. I tell you, reminds me of Iron Maiden again. It's not really, you know, shredding. It's like a guitar melody. The tempo changes like and the bass guitar, you can hear it. It's he's doing his own thing. It's just perfect. To me, uh, that shows off uh, how good of musicians they are, not because they're shredding, but because of the melody, you know, just add more to the song, it's, it's, it's a great song, uh, and then we get to song eight, Tears of a Queen, I gotta admit, I haven't listened to this one a time, I've skipped it, I feel bad for saying that. Obviously not my favorite song on the album. I'm not saying it's terrible. It just, it didn't kind of suck me in like the other tracks did. Uh, then we get to uh, track nine, Fire Burns. Yes, this is another one. You, the minute you hear it, you're like, oh, fuck. Here we go. Here we go. This is like, I'm like, I'm a junior in high school. It was Saturday night while all my friends are out partying and getting laid. I'm at home masturbating, watching fucking videos, but that's okay, because it it made me into the fucked up individual that I am today. But anyway, that another catchy guitar riff. You will see us rising fire burn, -na -na -na. and then I, I, I like this lyric. I do. I know it's simple, but it's effective. Dark will never be the same again. Yep. When you go out into the dark, yeah, you're not you're not gonna feel like you ever have before. Right. See? You're in a time warp and you should be. Fuck this shit that we're listening to today. Uh, then there's a tempo change in the middle. For the guitar solo, it's sped up. Now the drums kick in, it speeds up, and the fuck it just this blistering guitar solo, and he fucking shreds on it. Okay. For you fucking Berkeley uh, School of Music Institute graduates that bitch about every little fucking note that somebody plays, there's your fucking full string guitar solo. And then the album ends with Nameless Warrior, uh, No Enemy Will Survive, You'll Never See the Sun Again, You'll Never Feel Life Again. And it's got a few tempo changes in it too that... Uh, Make it an interesting song, but uh, I'm telling you, Four Heads Down from Germany, punk band, album of the year last year. I don't, I mean, at least for the headbangers, this is the album of the year. There ain't going to be nothing coming out uh, in heavy metal that's going to top this album, not for me. Go check this album out. I'm going to uh, post it again on my Facebook page, and go buy it. Support this band. Let's get them over here. Okay, let's have them play some festivals over here. You know, have some of these bands open up for them. They should be fucking headlining. Okay? Maybe uh, Metallic or somebody, maybe Slipknot. Slipknot. They can open up for Nightfire. How about that? All right. What a fucking band. And nice job out of you, Germany. Oh, yeah. All right. You know how I do this. Take it easy. And if it's easy, take it twice. I'm out.